Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to get Microsoft Teams and Zoom up and running on your Raspberry Pi. Both online meeting clients work pretty well on the Pi, however I would highly recommend you overclock your Pi to get as much power out of it as possible. You'll find timestamps to both installation guides in the description below. But before we get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you'd leave a like. And now let's get started. First of all, in order to install Zoom on your Raspberry Pi, you're going to need to quickly update your Pi by typing sudo apt update. and sudo apt upgrade. After that, reboot your Pi by typing sudo reboot. Then you're going to have to install Pi Apps, which is pretty much a dedicated app store for the Pi, by typing the following git clone command. And slash home slash pi slash pi dash app slash install to complete the installation. Now Pi app should be successfully installed and you can open it up by clicking on the Raspberry in the top left corner of the screen and heading to Accessories. Then scroll all the way down to Zoom, select it and click on Install. After installing Zoom, all that's left to do is opening it up, logging in, and participating or hosting a meeting. Installing Teams is just as easy as installing Zoom. The only difference is that we're going to be using the Snap Store instead of Pi Apps and that we have to create a desktop shortcut. First of all, if you haven't already, you're going to need to quickly update your Pi by typing sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Then type sudo apt install snapd to install the snap store. And then reboot your Pi by typing sudo reboot to apply the changes. After that, open up the terminal again and type sudo snap install teams-4-linux to install the Teams client. Now Teams should be installed on your Pi, but as you might have realized, there's no desktop shortcut to be found but you can still open up Teams by typing teams-4-linux. And as you can see, Teams opens right up and you can sign in. You can now use Teams on your Raspberry Pi just like you would on any other PC and participate in online classes or meetings. To create a desktop shortcut for Teams, simply click on the Raspberry in the top left corner of your screen and head to Preferences, Main Menu Editor and select a category that you want to save your shortcut to. Then click on New Item, name it Teams and type Teams-4-Linux into the command section. Additionally, you can download the Teams icon from the internet and select it as your Teams shortcut image. Once you've done that, click on OK twice and it should show up in the menu under the category you saved it to. I saved mine under Office, so that's where I'm going to find it. As you can see, the shortcut and team seem to be working perfectly fine. But other than that, that'll be it for today. I hope I helped you out and you enjoyed the video. 
If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.